My name is Kathy Ryman and I've been in the Boise area since I was 15. This is where I uh, grew up in my early teen years when we moved here from Washington. Um, I didn't really feel like I fit in because I had left all my friends back home. So to fit in, I, I started picking up some bad habits, alcohol. My mother had already helped me tremendously raising my first child um, uh, here at this home, actually. And um, she had to take her many times because, because of my uh, addiction. It just actually made me almost feel like I was such a failure that I was never going to recover. I kind of just drifted apart from my family a bit. My mom has been through a tremendous amount, um, you know, from drugs to alcohol to um, not being there for me, not showing up as a mother should. And the times that she came around my children when she was high or on alcohol um, was difficult to deal with because I didn't want my children to see the same things that I saw growing up. I was uh, stopped and arrested for um, a controlled substance. It was methamphetamine. thinking, what am I going to do when they let me, uh, you know, when it's time for me to go? Where am I going to go? What's going to happen to me? Coming into uh, the re-entry uh, back into Boise, I needed some help. I went back to the neighborhood where I was raised, decided to seek some assistance from St. Vincent de Paul. They believed in me. They supported me 110%. Um, they helped me to make a resume. They helped me with meals, they helped me with um, uh, clothing, things like that, and went to work full time every day. Without that assistance, I wouldn't be where I'm at today, which is a certified flagger. Um, I'm well known in the community for it. I'm very grateful and appreciative of St. Vincent de Paul for getting me started. Even, you know, right down to my gear uh, to get started, that costs money and um, the stop slow paddle and things like that. Uh, they were willing to help me out until I got my first paycheck. They would even pack me lunches at the food bank so that I'd have lunches. It's really funny how you're like directing traffic and you've had the ability to come back and direct traffic in your own life and, and put the, take those puzzle pieces and put them together. And I don't think you could have done that without St. Vincent de Paul. Um, I, and I love, absolutely love keeping my community safe. Yeah. Just like uh, now I keep myself safe and uh, I love to watch and see that my family's safe. I have three children, adult children, and seven grandchildren. I didn't realize that until I sobered up some and started my recovery that they needed me. It's absolutely wonderful. They're, they're so happy to have Kathy back. <laughs> I'm going to tell you how important your success has been on me to see you be able to be a part of me and my family's life. Um, not only have you been able to be around your grandchildren and me, and I feel like it's a tremendous blessing and a tremendous opportunity that you've been given to reshape Absolutely. your life and, and be productive in, in the society and, and, and be a mom again. My children adore her. Uh, she is so fun to be around, she's so outgoing, and her spirit is, is contagious. It's fun to be around her now. Without the help from St. Vincent, I, I would not be standing here today. I don't know what would happen to me. I could have passed away. I, um, I could have ended up in the prison system. I don't, I don't want that. You know, I, I feel like God has, has put me back on the right path and want to utilize it the best way I can. They just had so much faith and hope in me that I, I, I knew I could do it. The pieces just fell together and the puzzle was complete and I couldn't be, I couldn't be more happier.